And to top of our news feed, Women in Film, a revealing study from Plan International and the Gina Davis Institute on Gender in Media shows that even today, despite decades of discussion about female representation in films, the industry is still failing. Cinema is still, as highlighted in a seminal essay from 1975, subjected to the male gaze. Here's Ezra. Women in Film, iconic images, historic moments, part of our collective cultural heritage, these influential, unforgettable characters, all from movies directed by men. A new study called Rewrite Her Story by Women at Risk International reveals the problematic ways women are represented in cinema. They look at 56 movies from 2018 from all over the world and found women were four times more likely than men to be shown in revealing clothing, almost twice as likely to be shown partially nude and four times more likely to be shown completely naked. In whatever context a woman is shown, be it at work, in the community or in the family, male leaders are much more visible. Overall, 42% of male, compared to 27% of female characters, are shown on screen as leaders. And some of the reasons for this can be seen in the data of who is making movies. One in four had a woman producer. Just one in 10 had a woman on the writing team and none had a woman director. The legacy of this failure by the film industry affects women and society more generally in hugely damaging ways. When I sit on a TV and watch that, then I think it impacts me negatively. What a person sees consistently influence what the person believes. All the things that person sees, especially if they are from marginalised communities, can affect generations. The study has a number of recommendations. Chief among them make films which normalise female leadership, stop objectifying and sexualising women on screen and fund more female filmmakers. These are some good examples of strong female representation in film, in both big budget and indie cinema. Think the female characters from Black Panther on one end. The real question is what are those? <laughs> Why do you have your toes out in my lap? and the mother and daughter relationship in Lady Bird. But sadly, these are the exceptions. Until characterization like this are the rule, many will say film is still failing women. Well, Maria Flood teaches film at Keele University in the UK. We had a conversation earlier about that study. Here are some of her thoughts. stereotypes and cliches both about women and people of colour in Hollywood movies. And I do think that audiences are getting quite tired, particularly younger audiences who maybe don't even go to the cinema. They're watching things on Netflix or Amazon Prime or YouTube, and they're watching stories that are made by women, by gay people, by people of colour, that have really diverse casts and characters. And then they go to Hollywood, and it's the same tired thing. I mean, I went to see Ad Astra recently, and I just thought, you know, another white man with daddy issues. If you're going to tell that story, you better better tell it really well because it's been told a lot and people are a little bit you know tired of it <laughs> yeah and I think you know I think audiences are just tired of seeing themselves whether you know as a woman as a woman or a black person just seeing yourself as the kind of backdrop to the more important storyline involving a, a, usually a white male character there's also an element of realism in it as you said I watched Jurassic World uh, recently I think it's 2016 and the woman in that film spends the two hours running around in six centimeter stilettos and there's just you know there's just no need for it and um, we want to see our real experiences reflected on the screen and I do think that is happening if you take uh, Lady Bird by Greta Gerwig I think that's a film that a lot of female audiences were really able to identify with and it's directed and scripted by a woman. To go back to Jurassic Park, when you look at Jurassic Park from 1993, the woman in that film wore Timberland boots for the entirety. The female teenager was, you know, a computer programmer. So in some ways, we've actually gone backwards in popular Hollywood film, which is a bit troubling. 
Um, and what you notice with female directors, it's a different style of filming the body. So we don't get the kind of overt sexualization, the lingering gaze. We get something that's much more touch orientated, that's more emotionally orientated. Um, but I do think the best, probably the best female filmmaking is coming out of independent cinema um, and European and world cinema as well. Hollywood still really has to catch up in that sense. So the Bachelor test essentially, as far as I remember, is uh, that in a film you have two female characters in a scene talking to each other about something that doesn't involve men. Um, but I think it's an absolutely brilliant way to think about what you're doing as a writer um, because it's actually still surprising how few films have two, have just don't have two strong or, you know, lead female characters talking about something other than men. Mm -hmm.